Norway does not have a presidency in the traditional sense that some countries do, such as the United States or France, where a president serves as the head of state and government. Instead, Norway has a parliamentary system of government with a constitutional monarchy. In this system, the monarch is the ceremonial head of state, and executive powers are vested in the government, led by the prime minister. Here is an overview of Norway's political system and some key historical information. 1. Constitutional Monarchy Norway is a constitutional monarchy, which means that the king or queen of Norway holds a symbolic and ceremonial position in the country's government. The monarchy's powers are limited by the Norwegian constitution, and the monarch's role is largely ceremonial. 2. Parliamentary Democracy Norway has a parliamentary democracy, which means that the government is elected by the parliament, Stortinget. The parliament consists of 169 members who are elected every four years through a proportional representation system. 3. Prime Minister The head of government in Norway is the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister is the leader of the political party or coalition that has the majority of seats in the Stortinget. The Prime Minister holds the executive authority and is responsible for forming the government and making policy decisions. 4. Political parties Norway has a multi-party system, with several political parties represented in the Stortinget. Some of the prominent parties include the Labour Party, the Conservative Party, the Progress Party, the Centre Party, and the Socialist Left Party, among others. 5. Historical background Norway's path to independence and the establishment of its modern political system is marked by historical events. Notably, Norway was in a union with Sweden from 1814 to 1905, during which time it had limited autonomy. In 1905, Norway peacefully dissolved the union with Sweden and became an independent nation with its own monarchy. 6. Post-World War II era After World War II, Norway experienced significant economic growth and development. The Labour Party played a crucial role in shaping the country's social welfare system and modernizing its economy. 7. NATO and foreign policy Norway is a member of NATO North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and has traditionally followed a policy of neutrality. However, it has a close relationship with Western countries and has been involved in international peacekeeping and humanitarian efforts. For the most up-to-date information on Norway's political landscape and presidency, I recommend consulting recent news sources and official government websites. Norway's parliamentary system is a fundamental part of its political structure and governance. Here's a detailed overview of the history and functioning of Norway's parliamentary system. 1. Historical background, Norway's parliamentary system has its roots in the 19th century when the country began to develop its own institutions separate from Denmark and Sweden, in 1814, after the Napoleonic Wars. Norway was ceded from Denmark to Sweden through the Treaty of Kiel. However, Norwegians opposed this and drafted their constitution. This led to the Constitution of Norway being signed on 17 May, 1814, which laid the foundation for the parliamentary system. 2. The Storting, Parliament The Storting is Norway's national legislature and is the supreme authority in the country. It consists of a single chamber with 169 members, all of whom are elected by proportional representation. Elections to the Storting are held every four years. The last parliamentary election took place in 2021. 3. Role of the Storting The Storting has legislative power, meaning it can make, amend, and repeal laws. Bills can be proposed by the government, in power, or by members of the Storting. It also has control over the budget, and the government must present its budget proposal to the Storting for approval. Additionally, the Storting plays a crucial role in overseeing the executive branch, including the government and the monarch. 4. The executive branch. In Norway's parliamentary system, the executive branch consists of the government, led by the prime minister. The prime minister is usually the leader of the political party or coalition that has the majority of seats in the Storting. The government is responsible for implementing laws, managing the country's affairs, and making policy decisions. 5. Political parties. Norway has a multi-party system, with several political parties represented in the Storting. Some of the major parties include, the Labour Party Arbidurpetit, a centre-left party that has historically been a dominant political force, the Conservative Party Hoi, a centre-right party, the Progress Party. 
Prince Trespetit, a right-wing populist party, the Centre Party Sinterpetit, a centrist and agrarian party, coalitions are often formed among these parties to secure a majority in the Storting. 6. Checks and Balances Norway's parliamentary system features a system of checks and balances. The Storting can hold the government accountable through interpellations, questions, and votes of no confidence. The judiciary also plays a role in upholding the rule of law and protecting individual rights. 7. Constitutional Monarchy Norway is a constitutional monarchy, and the monarch's powers are limited by the Norwegian constitution. The king or queen's role is mainly ceremonial, the monarch formally appoints the prime minister and the government but does so based on the parliamentary majority. 8. Changes in government Changes in the government can occur between elections. If the government loses a vote of confidence in the storting, it must resign. The monarch then appoints a new government, typically led by the leader of the largest party in the storting. Overall, Norway's parliamentary system is characterized by a separation of powers, with the storting serving as the primary legislative and oversight body, while the executive branch, headed by the prime minister, implements policies and administers the country. The system is known for its stability, consensus-oriented politics, and a strong focus on social welfare and democratic principles.